name's got a little pops there, but that's okay. Alright, all right, everyone, um, this is the Bulldog Pantry group, and I was the group leader for our group, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce and kind of talk a little bit about what our group did for our social media project for the Bulldog Pantry. Um, I know last month, I think it was, when we gave you guys some ideas that we had at the time of what we'd like to do with the Bulldog Pantry, and um, what we ended up doing after talking to our contact, Jessica Medina, was to create a set of social media sites that would help promote and raise awareness of the Bulldog Pantry to people in the Fresno community, as well as across other regions as well. Um, and the reason for doing that is because the Bulldog Pantry always welcomes volunteers who can come in and help out with food distribution and packaging that people in Fresno have an opportunity of gaining access to. And then another thing we really wanted to focus on was creating more awareness in order to raise donations because as we all know, the Bulldog Pantry gets a lot of their packaged food by donations and going to the food bank. And so it's really important that we are able to raise those funds for them so that they, they have an opportunity to continue to do that. And so let me give you an example of some of the, some of the social media sites that we worked on. Um, and each, of, each one of our group um, members did a specific uh, social media site and they're gonna talk more about what they did with their social media site for the Bulldog Pantry. Um, and our five were Facebook, we did Facebook, we did Twitter, we did Instagram, we did Eventbrite, and we also um, did some work on their website, which is, which a, is, WordPress. Which is a WordPress, and Jacob um, is gonna talk more about that. So, uh, without further ado, I wanna give the opportunity to uh, my group to start talking about what they worked on, and then if you guys have any questions at the end, please feel free to ask us and we'll, we'll definitely. Well, I'm gonna start us off by uh, going through a little Prezi that we are going to encourage, oh, is it not gonna let me, oh, wow, let me click on it, that was cool. I didn't expect that. So this is the Prezi that I'm gonna uh, suggest to Jessica to put on their front page of their new website or whatever they update their website. The Vokey. So, the Vokey. so you guys listen to it very, what? The Vokey. The Vokey, you mean. The Vokey that's what I meant. <laughs> I keep getting this mixed up with the E at the end, the Vokey Prezi. I'm gonna let it play. Welcome to the Bulldog Pantry. The Bulldog Pantry is a Fresno State student-run food pantry focused on providing food to students and families in need, providing volunteer opportunities, and provide resources and materials in partnership with other nonprofits. Look for our social media pages, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, for up-to-date event information and volunteer opportunities. Thank you for helping the fight against hunger. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we uh, yeah. So basically, the point of that is because at the beginning she wanted us to improve her the website they use, which is currently a WordPress. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Their WordPress was extremely out of date. The most recent. Uh, post, which you can't actually see the date. Oh, it's right there, May 16, 2010. I, I talked about that earlier and how they just never used it. So this is their key website that when you look up Bulldog Pantry in Google, this is what you get and it's really <coughs> updated. So she wanted us to do work on it and originally the plan was to rebuild a website, to pra uh, perhaps purchase a domain and etc. But through miscommunication and honestly just they weren't comfortable with us getting a domain, we didn't actually end up creating a new website for them. So what we did is we developed a plan for a future website improvement or all new development for them in the future. So then that links into WordPress or their own domain, which they might buy. So next, over here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Twitter. My name is Michael Ward. Um, I thought that Twitter would be a really good, helpful thing for the Bulldog Pantry because it allows for uh, the word to spread really quickly. You keep your information very concise. You can use hashtags um, to really just, if you have an event, as you can see right here, they just had the dance marathon. And so we were able to tweet about that. And word can spread really quickly. People can retweet that. So that makes Twitter a really important part of Bulldog Pantry. Um, a really cool thing we did was we actually sent tweets out to, as you can see down here, all of the local news stations. And someone actually retweeted what we had said and was actually nice enough to reply to us. So I thought that was a really cool thing. And um, a couple tips that we have, um, 
for Twitter that's going to be for our social media intern, which we'll talk a little bit about later, uh, are just going to be to keep retweeting, uh, send at least one tweet a day, follow as many people as you can, and make sure to use hashtags. Before we move on, uh, actually, if Michael's going to pass around uh, an example, and actually that's the actual copy too that we're going to be giving for the social media intern that we'll talk about later. So there's the tips are in that if you want to do it. It's Facebook. Okay, yeah, um, I'm Michael Conway, for you guys that don't know, and I worked on the Facebook page. The Facebook page for the Bulldog Pantry was actually very, very, very well run. Um, besides, what was the date, Jacob? Do you remember when um, they picked It they started picked it again in, like, December. Yeah, so um, starting again, uh, so last December, they really uh, picked up their posting. They're posting very regularly, uh, posting pictures uh, about events. So they were um, running that very well. A couple things we did to improve their Facebook page was post a cover photo, um, add a little bit more to the description of what the Bulldog Pantry actually is, and we linked the uh, Twitter page um, to the Bulldog Pantry. Or, excuse me, we linked the Twitter page to the Bulldog Pantry's Facebook page. Um, and I also gave a couple tips for the social media intern, which, um, as Michael said, we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, Facebook is pretty much... Um, since they don't have a website up and running right now, it's pretty much their homepage, uh, linking all their other social media pages together. Um, the, uh, a couple of tips we gave them was uh, to create events. Um, Sean will talk about Eventbrite a little bit later, but just creating events on Facebook um, allows them to notify all the participants and all the people that follow or like their Facebook page of the events that are going on. Um, give weekly updates as well as um, shout outs to different organizations such as fraternities, sororities, businesses that um, work to raise money or raise funds for the Bulldog Pantry. As well as to link images from the Instagram account um, or just create separate, um, uh, separate folders of pictures for different events uh, per se the ASI Dance Marathon. And so that's what we did with the Facebook page. Next is Instagram. Okay, I'm Luca Petrucci. Nice to meet everybody. <laughs> um, I focused on Instagram. At the very beginning when we met with Jessica, this was one of the sites that she wanted us to create. So we created it, they didn't have it at all. Um, and a, a huge reason why we created it is to promote like the Bulldog Pantry events and to let people see actually what goes on. Because there are people that know what the Bulldog Pantry is, they just don't know what happens there, it's even um, Fresno State students. And like Sean said earlier, one of the, um, a few of the groups she wanted us to, prom um, to promote the Bulldog Pantry to, first off was students to volunteer, because obviously they need that, and to alumni for donations, because we know, you know the predicament they're in. So that's who we focused on. Um, we followed a lot of students and alumni, um, and also some nonprofits too. And we, as you see, we have um, now about 45 followers, so it's definitely coming along. Um, and some of the pictures that I recommend posting, any events that the Bulldog Pantry does, like the um, ASI, um, the Dance Marathon, we posted pictures from that. Also, too, what I recommend, I thought it would be really cool, is to post pictures of the volunteers that um, are there weekly. So Fresno State students can see, like, wow, and my friends are volunteering, like, really see what's going on. Um, so that's, you know, where we um, really want the Bulldog Pantry to go. There was also one more um, tip that I recommended. Um, I was thinking monthly, and a few of us talked about it, is sort of creating a theme for Instagram. Um, I thought of one, like, a whole month, and you could post maybe one or two a week is focusing on, like, the Bulldog staff. So maybe you're talking about Dom Bromza, have a picture of him, a little biography of him, so they know really, you know, who the Bulldog Pantry really is, and if they were to donate, who they would be donating to. Um, so those are just some tips that we gave to the um, internship. And I definitely feel by using the Instagram, people actually seeing the pictures, they're going to increase awareness. And the last one was Eventbrite. All right, so I'm going to uh, talk about Eventbrite. And um, none of what the Bulldog Pantry does would be possible without student volunteers helping out. And um, I know some of you guys might have heard of Eventbrite, um, probably for concert tickets. If you're going to a concert, typically, um, they sell a lot of tickets through Eventbrite. And believe it or not, Eventbrite doesn't just work for concerts, it works for pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be paid tickets. You can also create events that are free to the public. And um, that's pretty much what I did for Eventbrite. Uh, when I went through it and I started researching how it works, I noticed that it was very organized, it's very professionally run. One of the problems when you have volunteers commit to doing something by email is that they'll say they do one thing, and then you end up realizing that half of the volunteers who emailed you and said they're gonna come don't end up showing up. 
Or another scenario could be that, you know, communication is not as professionally run, so, um, for example, the organizer might email other people, but they might not always get the direct, the direct contact and connection. So Eventbrite, in my opinion, is very well professionally run. I took a snapshot of the Eventbrite that I created for the uh, Bulldog Pantry events that will be happening within the next few months. Um, as you can see, you have an option of creating the address of the site. So I put the address. It's not very clear here, but um, I think it's 2011 East Shaw Avenue. Fresno, California, 93710. Yeah, so um, here's kind of the map. I put a picture of the Bulldog Pantry, some of the volunteers that I found on the website. You have the option to um, register to volunteer at a certain event, and I've created a list of dates that will be happening within the next few months that they can volunteer at. Um, the quantity, obviously, would be one person, and then it's free. So you don't need to pay money in order to confirm your registration for um, helping out at the Bulldog Pantry. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, Jessica and I had talked about this. She said that communication had been one of our problems and that she'd like to see an event right because she knows that it's very, very efficient and it's very well run. So what I did as far as um, giving tips to the social media intern is that I, I um, created a list of different uh, strategies that the person can use when they're contacting fellow volunteers to come help out. And um, so I talked about that and so they should be um, running that as soon as possible. I've sent emails yeah. to Jessica Medina up yeah. her. You can well. read through the tips in our manual, but so we're actually out of time, so thank yeah. you very much, guys. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Any clarification? Uh, I'll clarify something real quick, Jacob. Oh. Um, so we spoke a lot about the social media intern. Um, after speaking to Jessica, we had to come up with a plan of actually keeping our work, like, so we, we made a bunch of these pages and stuff like that, and so far we've been running them, but it's going to be hard for somebody else to, to run them. So we had to develop a plan to keep these um, social media pages in action so that they're uh, well run and organized and they're actually effective. So what Jessica asked us to do, since they have connection with the university, um, they're actually applying. Uh, this is our packet right here, the social media intern packet. So we all gave tips for each social media site, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Jacob included stuff on the website as well as Eventbrite. And this um, social media intern packet is actually going to be delivered to the work experience office. So the Bulldog Pantry is going to apply, Jessica is going to apply for a, um, a social media intern through the school to actually further um, our progress and run their social media sites. So that's our plan to keep this plan going. Thank you very much. Have you considered when you uh, do the photographs, you're going to have to get releases for the people? You take the photographs because you just can't take and publish without. Um, what we were thinking too, yeah, because we talked about that, is um, not obviously taking pictures of people that are coming, like to get food. No, no, no. Even the even the volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would be a lot easier to focus on the volunteers because there's not as many. And yeah, we were talking about um, creating something. That was just a recommendation. We really didn't get to talk so much to Jessica about that just because her schedule was super, super busy, and this definitely like, wasn't her main priority. But um, yeah, we talked a little bit about that. So when we present this to her, we're gonna see if she would want us to create something, because I definitely would be willing but, to yeah, and do that. And the biggest thing is the social media intern. Like this, you know, it's, it's we gave them, we're giving them the tools to it, and so that definitely comes onto the social media intern about looking for, but we'd love to give them advice about it. Too. Yeah. Because um, Addison found on the Fresno State web, there's this whole like release form that a Fresno State. Oh, cool. Okay. So, 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 as far as legalities go, um, if we took pictures at a volunteer event, we definitely have consent forms and have them sign if it's okay that we. You guys also might want to consider uh, submitting that to Etsy Hayes. Uh, she's the public relations professor for. It'd just be cool to kind of see what you guys came up with because I know Instagram's probably one of the most creative things you can use. Luke, you come over to me. I don't remember the password. So. I think that's really nice that you created a, a legacy so that something can continue. Yeah, over. and the biggest the biggest thing that we want to clarify as well is we're unique in our group in the sense where they are hiring a social media intern who is skilled in social media who is skilled in understanding <laughs> stuff. So.
So basically, we didn't have to lay out as much, more of tips rather than telling them how to do it because they're going to understand how to work Facebook. So, so we got lucky with that one. And then we had to tackle it. Especially for something like that. That's perfect. That was a really artsy shot by very own Luca Petrucci. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions on it?